Norwegians throughout the ages have been known for having a particularly sweet tooth. But this must be one of the more weird food products I find. Both during my stay here and in my lifetime, I believe. Dr. Edgar's Chocolate Pizza. Stuff in Italian here that I cannot read, but this is pizza with four different chocolate, chocolate toppings. These are little white chocolate cubes and not marshmallows as I first thought. I saw this in the store here about five months ago and I thought to myself, I, I, well someday, someday I'm gonna have to try this. It doesn't matter what crazed man came up with this, it's just a, such a weird idea that I have to try it. So, without further ado, let us massacre this thing. So it looks pretty much like it does on the box. Not every food product does that to begin with, so I'll give them credit for that. What's interesting is that it looks like the chop, the uh, the uh, the bottom is actually made out of chocolate too, which I was not expecting. Uh, I don't know. I should probably have expected that, but regardless, I was surprised to find out that this is actually pretty lean. It says here that it's fridge just short of 300 calories with 14 grams of fat and 17 grams of sugar which is not bad at all considering that most milk chocolate bars are about 60 percent sugar i mean it's not it's not good food at all by any means but it's still not that that horrible so let's cook this bad boy up and see what it can do Putting the oven at 200 degrees Celsius at 10 minutes according to the specification. And now we insert the pizza in question. chocolate sauce boiling in there, which I didn't expect. I'll give it one thing though, it really smells intensely, like just baked a chocolate cake or something. So yeah, let's take this bad boy out and consume it. And there we go. Nice and melty. It hasn't begun to crystallize at all or anything. I'm a bit worried that the consistency is, is very crusty on the outside, but in the middle here it's very soft and bendy, so I'm not quite sure how that could turn out. Let's cut it up. Just smears of chocolate everywhere. Got some on the table. But I'm not sure if I should leave this to cool down a bit. Let's just try it. Mm. it it's chocolate cake basically. Uh, it has none of the reminiscences of, of pizza except for the consistency. Maybe a little bit. But other than that, yeah, it's basically just, it's candy food. What do you expect? It's pretty, uh, it's okay. Uh, I would maybe recommend it for like two or three euros. I got it at four euros, by the way. But apart from that, 
pretty enjoyable. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, if you like eating chocolate cake, you're gonna like this. I'm actually yet to the, come to the white chocolate, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, it is a bit more crust crusty. Now, I did anticipate would it be better if you ate it cold? As it is with like, it would be more like chocolate tart or an actual cake or... So I'm gonna try that. I saved a little piece because I was... I predicted this would happen. Not gonna lie, I'm actually not sure if if it's better to eat it cold or... Because this tasted, tasted a bit like... The, the top layer you get on sandwich ice cream, which is all chocolatey. Pretty good too. I'm gonna say... Ah, I'm just gonna say the war eating it warm gets a 7 out of 10 and cold gets a 6 out of 10. All in all, this experience gets... All in all, I said this experience gets a steering wheel out of 10, but... Yeah, you can't compare hot to cool, it's like comparing apples to pears. But yeah, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go and enjoy my newly heated chocolate pizza. It has been an experience, indeed. Yes. It's gonna completely ruin your health if you eat it every day though, but... Ah, never mind. You can. As my granddad always said, can always fit a little bit of enjoyment in your life every now and then. So, with that said, have a good one.